another day another episode of on enter flash this is worth and in this tutorial you're gonna learn about filters that you can put on movie clips and buttons but you can't put them on graphics but before we get started I just want to thank all the people who put comments on my videos who rated my videos and the new subscribers that I have to my YouTube channel I just like to thank them but I really gotta get a, give a special shout out to those people who went to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com and clicked on an ad I made 38 cents which is not gonna allow me to quit my day job but it is going to put some change in my pocket so if you will help and support on enter flash just go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com and and click on an ad to put a few pennies in my pocket I would really appreciate that maybe one day I'll get a faster computer or have my own actual website so let's just get into the tutorial on stage I have a pig with lipstick and it seems that it's right it's pretty much still a pig and nothing special about this is I turned it into a movie clip you should know how to turn things into movie clips by now and if you don't I suggest that you go to my previous video and you'll learn how to do that there we're going to go into the filters right here filters and filters we have nothing in here there is nothing you click the plus button to add a filter um, but before we get into adding filters onto movie clips let me show you how to get the filter you go to window and in window you go to properties and in properties they have filter and there you are that's how you get to filters so I select my movie clip and in the properties it will come up with its filter so let's go to the plus button and see what we find when we click on the plus button we have um, adjust color we have gradient bevel gradient glow, bevel, glow, blur, drop shadow, disable all, enable all, remove all, we have presets. So there are a lot of things that we can do. Let's try to go through some of them and see the cool things that we can do. Let's go with drop shadow first and see what happens. Look at that. My pig has a drop shadow. Really simple stuff that you can do. Now regularly back in the older flash versions we would have to go in Photoshop or we'd have to create another movie clip or graphic to go behind it now in the new flash uh, flash 8 9 we have the ability to use these uh, filters and they give you all these options what color you want your drop shadow to be uh, the blur the strength and the quality if you are using this movie clip in an animation I recommend that you keep it low the higher you have it the more processing time it takes which equals a slower speed for your movie clips or applications games etc and we have the distance the angle so I'm going to change the distance make it far away angle change the angle change the blur change the strength put it down and that looks pretty smooth we have the drop shadow let's take the and let's remove it you select it and we hit the minus and it's gone now let's go to blur actually blurs the object and you have the ability to how much you want to blur now a pig wearing lipstick if you blur it 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 kind of looks like something else it looks like a dragon so yeah there that was a bad joke let's add another element let's see what we can find the glow In glow you pick a color I would like my pig to radiate yellow and you have control over the blur you have control over the strength so I have a yellow glowing pig wearing lipstick and let's remove that and you can add more than one filter you can add as many as your heart desires so you can keep on adding filters and you can play around with it you have adjust color you have the hue where you can change the pig this looks more of the gothic pig wearing lipstick and you could just really have a ball with these uh, filters the only thing you have to keep in mind is that they can only be applied to movie clips and buttons I want to show you um, some animation that you can actually do I'm gonna open up the timeline now 
and I'm going to go to the 15th frame, right click, and insert keyframe. Instead of doing the right click, I'm going to start using the shortcut from now. I'm just going to click on the empty frame, press F6, and there I have it. And in F6, I'm going to select the movie clip, add a filter, I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'm going to bring these properties down and let's see what happens. I'm going to play this animation. All you see is a pig and then a pig with a shadow. So what I'm going to do is add a motion tween to that. So it's a pig and then a pig with a drop shadow. So you can actually add filters to your motion tweens. So that's one thing that you can keep in mind. It's a really cool effect that you can use. How about this? We pretend that the uh, pig is going from uh, night to day or, or the sun is changing positions in the sky so the drop shadow goes from one part or one angle to another. So I'm going to add a filter, add a drop shadow to the pig. Select it. And up strength, blur, the distance, and the angle. So now it should go from one side to another. So it's just to show you what tweens can do. It's really, really some amazing things that you can do with tweens. You can use filters to add all sorts of cool things to your movie clips and buttons. So keep that in mind next time you're making your website, application, or game that you can use these filters to enhance the look of your Flash movie. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash. The Pig and I hope that you visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com where you can look at other tutorials and just help yourself to some learning of the Flash environment.